up everybody snack pack back with you for hella choppers 101 lesson three and today is all about trim now you may notice something a little different about me um, i've got a new uh, joystick set up here thrustmaster sent me their hotas warthog and a couple other toys to play with so thank you very much thrustmaster for the uh, for the new stuff And this is really going to help us out today because our lesson's all about trim. Now there's something else here I got called Input Viewer. Uh, I believe that I got this off flightsim.to and uh, one of the, somebody commented in, on one of my videos and told me about this and it's pretty awesome. So now you can actually see as I move my uh, cyclic around, you can see exactly what my inputs are doing and then same thing with my pedals, right? So as I apply a right pedal, you can see it kind of moving back and forth on my, on my input here, okay? All right, so today we are uh, somewhere in Florida. I can't remember the airport. We're gonna fly over some water and uh, land on this little island. All right, and we're gonna see how uh, trim affects uh, flight in a helicopter. Trim is here to reduce pilot workload and make our lives easier, right? So if I don't use trim, I have to hold the flight controls in whichever direction I'm going. But if I use trim, then eventually, if I get it set up right, just right, I should be able to just let go of the flight controls and be good to go. So uh, let's see how it works. So we're gonna take off. So we take off, I'm gonna start pulling in collective. I'm gonna add a little left pedal and we're gonna see what we need to take off. Coming up light on the wheels, or light on the skids rather. A little forward cyclic, and we'll begin our takeoff. Just a normal VMC takeoff. All right, so we're heading on about a 280. I'm increasing my airspeed. I want to get to about, call it 80 knots. If anybody uh, flies the Bell 407 in real life, uh, leave a comment and let me know what you usually cruise at usually fly much more powerful helichoppers. We usually cruise at 100, 120, based, depending on our profile. So there's about 80 knots, so I know this forward uh, cyclic, this forward pitch for cyclic is uh, about what I need to maintain this 80 knots, right? So you can see my input viewer, you can see where that diamond is. Looks like a little left, or I'm sorry, a little right cyclic is needed here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my pedals because I have to hold my left pedal in this whole time and that's kind of annoying, right? So I'm just going to put in a little left pedal there. And then you can see my trim ball, my attitude indicator, is starting to come towards the center. Right? That little trim ball right there. We want him in the center. If it's off to the left, you need to step on it, right? Put in left pedal. But I just trimmed it up a little bit. Oops. All right. So I've got my pedal trim set, I've got my collective stick where I want it, and now I just need to trim for my cyclic. So I'm going to use my cyclic trim beeper right here on my thumb, I'm going to start adding forward cyclic in here. Looks like I'm going to need a little right cyclic. And now I'm just making small minute corrections to keep the cyclic where I want it. This is a lot easier in a real helicopter. <laughs> struggle busting a little bit here You're all right this is not too not too bad so I want to pitch to where I have zero vertical speed but I have all the forward air speed I need kind of help it out a little bit here and right about here I should be able to just let go of the flight controls oops there we go so it's got me in a little bit of a right bank need to move it over to the left a little bit let's try to help it out And it's wanting to uh, kind of pitch up a little bit. Much easier in a real helicopter. Just set it here. Right about there. And so now I just let go. And you can see it's going to, it's not doing exactly what I want. But it took a lot of the workload off. Watch, if I just take all the trim off, this is what happens. The helicopter wants to pitch up get me in some crazy attitude but if I just set my trim where I want it usually I can make my life a lot easier oops let's get that left pedal in there we go oh it looks like a little more forward that's what I need 
Now in a real helicopter, you can use the beep trim, right? So you can see already uh, the actual model here has a little trim beeper. It does the same exact thing as what's on my joystick. But in a real helicopter, we have the same thing, right? And you would actually, if you push forward on it, you would actually see the whole cyclic start moving forward, left, aft. But an even better choice is to use the force trim right here. Now this force trim release button, I haven't figured out how to make it work in uh, flight simulator yet but in a real helicopter all I'd have to do is hold that force trim down and I could put the cyclic wherever I want to give me the appropriate fore after lateral uh, pitch that I want and I can just let go and the cyclic will just stay there so it's much much easier in real life all right so I think I flew over my LZ over here so I'm just gonna release all my trim and I'm gonna fly it manually from here on out let's see if we can find our LZ over here there it is over there. So you can see without the trim, I've got a lot more work to do. I've got pedal inputs to make. And actually, I'm not sure if the uh, Bell 407 has a uh, uh, yaw trim or not. It doesn't look like it, because usually there would be little switches on the pedals, but I think there might be little switches on there. I'm really not sure, to be honest. Let's shoot an approach over here to this. It looks like, is that a golf course? I think that might be a golf course. Let's land in that golf course. That looks fun. All right, so I got a little lake right off the 12 o'clock here, and I'm going to land just past that. How lovely. Lifestyles of the rich and famous over here in the, in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida. All right, so... I've reduced collective, I'm losing airspeed and altitude simultaneously. And I'm going to need to add a lot more collective because I'm going to need about hover torque by the time I get to the ground. Alright, so let's re keep reducing collective. And it looks like a little bit of a sloped landing zone here. Let's see if we can pull this off. <laughs> And we're on the ground, and it looks like we're at a uh, yeah, about a three degree slope. That's not so bad. We're a few degrees nose up. All right, so hopefully you learned a little bit about trim. I still need to work on it with this Bell 407. It's a little bit tricky um, so far. So I prefer it if we had if we were able to use the force trim release. So I'm gonna need to do some research and see if I can figure that out on the flight controls. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Snack Pack out.